Good morning. I'm going to go over this properties of ocean water lecture. Um, so we're just talking about some of the basics here. Uh, one of the important things to remember with water, and specifically ocean water, is that there are um, gases that can be found within the water. Now we don't see these. Um, they can be microscopic in size um, and just mixed in with the uh, the chemistry of the water, but it's still there and they're important because things like fish and other organisms need these gases. So just like the atmosphere, the ocean has dissolved gases. Oxygen and nitrogen are the primary gases, but carbon dioxide is an important gas involved in the ocean, in ocean health. Carbon dioxide is a very small part of our atmosphere. It's also a very small part of the ocean but it plays a big role. So we'll get into that later on. Now, where do these gases come from? Because they're going into and out of the ocean on a regular basis. So gases dissolve into the ocean from the atmosphere and the geosphere. So some of it's from runoff of stuff um, being eroded from the land and going into the ocean. And a lot of it is just dissolved from the atmosphere straight into the water. So this plays a significant role in what happens to carbon dioxide. All right. So what else do we find in ocean water? Um, when we're talking about dissolved gases, uh, we want to know, is it constant or does it change depending on other features of the water? Well, one of the main things that we can see is that when the water temperature changes, the amount of gases change. And you can see here, this is warm water, much less dissolved oxygen in this case. And when there's cooler water, there's much more dissolved oxygen. So generally speaking, amount of dissolved gases is affected by water temperature. Uh, warm water holds less dissolved gases. So warmer the water, the faster those molecules are moving in the water, the less the uh, gases can stay dissolved in that water, okay? So besides gases, we also talk about salts. We know that the ocean is salty, but there's more than one type of salt or ion that we find in ocean water. Um, and this has a little breakdown of it. We don't need to know all of these, but uh, ocean water also contains dissolved salts. The salts play an important role in ocean chemistry. So everything that lives in the ocean um, is adapted to these salt, uh, salt water conditions. And, and the salt water actually plays a role. These ions actually play a role in how these organisms live and go through their daily lives. All right, now when we're talking about salinity, not all the ocean's uh, level of salinity is the same. Salinity can change depending on regions. So what are some of the ways that uh, salinity changes? Salinity is reduced, so you have a lower salinity, with the addition of fresh water. So I have a picture here of melting ice, right? This is all fresh water melting into the salt water. It's gonna dilute it, so you have reduced salinity. This happens with precipitation and melting ice from land and glaciers. Now, we wanna think of like big amounts, stuff that is on Greenland, ice that's on Greenland, or ice that's uh, in Antarctica. Now, the opposite of this is to increase salinity. Evaporation increases salinity by removing water molecules, not salt. So this evaporation just takes H2O away, leaving salt behind, making it more concentrated. All right, that'll get us started. Hope that helps.